Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. In today's vlog, I'll be taking you with me while I prepare for an art market. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Jazz and this is my channel, String Beats. I usually post crochet tutorials in this channel, but if you follow my Instagram, you'll know that I also run a small art shop. I started attending more art markets this year, so I thought it would be fun to vlog and show you guys the behind the scenes of selling art and posting in the Philippines. This footage was filmed way back in July, and here I am preparing for patrons of the arts. This was their first time hosting an event, and speaking as future me, it was really fun and well organized. I am setting up my acrylic sticker displays, which are actually nail polish holders. I got a full table for this art market, so I sketched out what I wanted the layout to look like. These are my mini stickers, and these are my medium stickers. Almost all of my stickers are made from vinyl, except the ones I specifically make for journaling. Since they're vinyl, they're waterproof, and I also have them laminated, which makes them scratch-proof. I also started producing acrylic keychains this year. I've seen other people use hooks like these to display keychains and I wanted to try it out in an attempt to make my booth more self-serve. I noticed that a lot of customers like touching and getting a feel for the product when they see them. But since I constantly make new products, I also constantly readjust my booth displays. So in my most recent booth display, I don't use these hooks for keychains anymore, and I use them to hang up my crochet coasters instead. This is how I organize my keychains, just in the box they came from, and I added cardboard dividers so that it won't get too messy. Here are some more designs that I have. I have Magic Carp, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Gengar, I also have this smiling bunny and some star Drew keychains, so we have star drops. I made them in two sizes, so there's also a mini version. We also have a Junimo and a chicken. I wanted my displays to have an opaque background so that they're easier to see from afar. So I'm using some binder clips to attach the blue panel onto the grids. I also prepared some blind bags for this event. One was for Pokemon and one was for Stardew. It was the first time I debuted them. I made everything from scratch and assembled and designed all the packaging by myself.
This is the crochet corner of my booth. For this event, I made some bunny hair bands. I honestly just crochet whatever I feel like making at the time. These are more of my regular stock, my crochet animal coasters. We have bunnies, frogs, bears, and junimos. The bear and frog coasters already have tutorials up on my channel if you're interested in making or selling them. Again, this is what my initial sketch looked like, and this is my final table setup. We have come to my least favorite part, which is tearing everything down and packing it all up. It's so tedious, it's so messy, and it's so tiring. I also filmed a vlog for the actual event itself, but I haven't finished editing that yet, so stay tuned. I might post it. For now, here's a little sneak peek. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Till next time again, bye!